Hello and welcome. Let us start uh, another part of the very important chapter queuing theory or queuing models. And now we are going to study some calculations. We have taken a simple problem and with the help of this problem we are going to discuss all possible calculations of Poisson exponential single server model. The case is on the help desk of an office of an insurance company the arrivals of the customers follow Poisson law and on an average at every 10 minutes a customer arrives. On the basis of the past records, we have come to know that on an average at every 10 minutes a customer arrives. It is not compulsory that after 10 minutes only a customer arrives, but this is an average gap between the arrivals of two customers. The officer responsible, the officer who handles the help desk takes on an average 6 minutes to serve a customer. The average time of providing service to a customer is 6 minutes that we came to know on the basis of our past records. Assuming the service time exponentially distributed. This is the case with us. Now in this lecture what we want to do to find out average arrival rate for 1 hour, 15 minute period and 30 minute period. We had discussed the concept of time unit T to make calculations in queuing model we need a time unit that means a time interval specific time interval must be defined in this case we have three different time intervals that means T can take any value at any moment in our calculations first we are going to find the average arrival rate that is Lambda for n r. Now, what is the information available about the number of arrivals? The information available about number of arrivals is on an average at every 10 minutes a customer arrives. Now 1 R equals to 60 minutes. So we have a proportion. Minutes 10, number of customers 1. 1 R that means 60 minutes is to how much? So a very simple calculation. 60 minutes multiplied by 1 customer divided by 10 minutes. So it comes to 6. Therefore arrival rate for an hour or for 1 hour is 6. So in this case the value of lambda stands 6. Now we have an hourly rate. Even if we have not been asked to calculate this for 1 hour it is advisable to calculate this for a standard unit of time like 1 hour so that we can calculate the lambda or the arrival rate for all other possible time units very easily now the second is 15 minute period So 15 minute period is 1 fourth hour. So lambda for 15 minute period will be lambda for an hour that is 60 into 1 by 4 that is 1.5. Therefore arrival rate for 15 minute period equals to 1.5. Similarly, we can find out the arrival rate for 30 minute period or half an hour. 30 minutes period. Again, we have arrival rate per hour, that means per 60 minutes. 30 minutes is exactly half. So, 
with the feature of direct proportion in case of poisson law the lambda or the arrival rate will be 6 into half or 6 into 30 by 60 similarly here also it can be 6 into 15 upon 60 so the arrival rate comes to 3 arrival rate for 30 minutes period equals to 3 so it is very simple to find out the arrival rate but we just need to interpret the data in its correct way again I repeat it is advisable to find out the arrival rate for a standard period of time like 1 hour on the basis of which we can calculate arrival rate of any other time period say on the basis of arrival rate of 1 hour or 60 minutes we could easily find the arrival rate for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or we can find out arrival rate for the whole shift of 8, 9, 10 or 12 hours whatever the case may be so this was a very simple explanation of finding the average arrival rate or simply arrival rate in case of single server model. That's it. Thank you.